All right, we're going to learn how to get some likes here. Well, not likes for an app or anything like that, but more of the user's likes. So in here, we're going to be learning about accessing Facebook's API and specifically using the graph. We're going to dive into this great graph explorer tool that Facebook has so that we can ultimately get a user's likes. So let's go ahead and see this. All right, so we were able to successfully log in with Facebook, but we want to go further than that. We want to go get some information about the user. And in this case, we're going to try and go get their likes. Now, in order to do this, we're going to be using something called the Facebook graph. And to understand more about this, go ahead and go back to our documentation here. If you scroll to the very bottom, not showing it on this page, so I'm going to open up Facebook for developers in another tab. But usually on most pages, they've got a graph API explorer. If that link disappears for whatever reason, just search graph API explorer. But basically, this is a tool that will allow you to see what it looks like to access the graph. And the graph is basically accessing a user's data via the Facebook API. So for example, if you just do the example one, hit submit, it's going to ask you for permission to use this graph explorer thing. But it's basically saying if you do a graph request of me, where you want the fields of ID and name, it's going to pass back those things to you. And if you wanted to go get, for example, somebody's likes, if we go ahead and type that in, then, you know, it's saying, okay, we want the ID, name, and likes. And if we hit submit, then it will return back that information about the user's likes and we can see all that information. And so if you want to do this for yourself inside of the app, you're eventually going to have to use some sort of string like this, but let me show you how you get there. So let's go back to our project and we're going to write a new bit of code here where we're going to do an FB SDK graph request and we'll make a new graph request object. First, we need to pass in that string. So this is where we're going to want to pass in, let's go back to the page here, this right here, the me question mark fields equal to. And for right now, let's just get the ID and name. You'll see that we're going to have an issue with likes. So for right now, just do the me question mark fields equal to ID comma name, no comma after that and likes. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and punch that in there for the parameters. Just pass in an empty dictionary here. Don't forget that colon. And then once you have this graph request, you got to go and get it started. So we're going to do a dot start here. And this gives us back a completion handler that says, hey, we finished getting this request. So it gives us back a connection. We also get back results. That's the second parameter. And then also an error optional. So we'll go ahead and put that out. So let's just see what it gives us back. Uh, we're going to simply print out results, colon, and then let's put inside of this string, whatever came back via result. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this, see what it looks like in the simulator. So build succeeds, and you can see app opens up. If you've previously logged in, the button should say log out, and you should see in your console here that it came back with the ID and the name, and you're thinking, great, well, let's go get the likes, right? And so you go over here and you say comma likes, just like we saw here on the website, right? Like that's go and get the likes. And you know, we come back and we run this. And we say, yeah, this is gonna be great. But the problem with this is you have to ask explicitly for the user's access to go get their likes. And so it still does the graph request, but you can see it just completely ignores the likes that we have. And so in order to go get that, you have to ask for permission for it. And if you're wondering about how you can find out more about permissions, just go ahead and search in Google I want to do Facebook graph permissions, okay? And should be your top search result there. And basically here you can see for, there's like read permissions that you can do for like user attributes and activity. This is the one that we're looking for is user underscore likes. So what we have to do is edit our login button to take advantage of this. And so we're going to come back and when we create our login button, we're going to say login button dot read permissions and you can see it's looking for an array of read permissions and we're going to set that equal to an array where we just pass in one string that contains the exact name that we have here user underscore likes so all lowercase so we'll go ahead and plop that in and now if we go ahead and run this we're going to have to log out and log back in in order to see this successfully work like i said this isn't the most brilliant looking app but we're going to log out here Let's log in again. The big thing that we should be looking for is it's, you know, that it's going to ask us, can we get your likes? And look, it's telling us, you know, test one, two, three will receive your likes. That's a new thing. And so, and there's even a little report here that's saying, you know, this has been changed from last time. And so we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And now it doesn't spit out anything because we don't have anything like, oh, once they've logged in, run this code. 
Uh, but now if we go ahead and run this, okay, build succeeded. And we come here, we should see down here, look at that, there is all the likes showing up. And so pretty cool that those are all listed out and the issue there was that we needed the permissions. So this is a small little introduction into the Facebook SDK. If you'd like to know more, go check out these user permissions and this Graph API Explorer is really good for testing out things before putting them into your code. You can kind of see what it looks like for yourself and then go out and do that on behalf of your other users. And this is, you know, just the read permissions here. There's other stuff that you can do about a writing and, you know, there's all so many things that you can dive into there. But there you have it. Got a little bit to discuss here as we wrap everything up, but I hope you enjoyed learning about Facebook.